Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today we are going to Sam's and it is the weekend and it is Black Friday weekend. So wish us luck. We are in the parking lot getting ready to walk inside and it's odd, but the parking lot's not packed. I think there's the least amount of people here I've ever seen. So we're going to go in here, do our keto haul and pick up a few Christmas items too. Everybody say hi. 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 If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have that down here and in the description box below. And also follow me on Facebook. We have a group called All Things Keto with Christy and <laughs> it's a really great group of people. Okay, let's head in because giggle box back here. Let's go. Okay, full disclosure, we spent $436, but we bought some Christmas gifts. As far as food goes, we spent $251, and I will show you all of that when we get home. Girls. Look at this. How adorable. Look at him, oh my gosh. It's driving. <laughs> So like I said earlier when we were leaving Sam's, all the food that we picked up was $251. We did pick up a lot more items than that, but I'm going to assume you don't want to see those. Those were Christmas gifts, things like that. We'll go over everything that I picked up right now, and this is a keto haul. So let me repeat this part also. The last probably three to four weeks, we have been doing dirty keto. So if it fits into our macros, we're eating it. If there's a little bit of sugar, that's fine. If there's a little bit of maltodextrin, that's fine. We're trying to just stay under 20 net carbs and see how that works for us, see how it affects us, and if this is something that we're gonna be able to do. So let's start out with the meats because that seems to be what we got the most of. I picked up two of the chickens this time. I have the last couple of months only been getting one and the girls run out super fast. They love to take chicken salad. This one is just chicken breast chunks in water. You get six huge cans in this. So you get six 12 and a half ounce cans. Went ahead and got two. That'll give us 12. Hopefully this will get us through the month of December considering the girls only have to go till the 19th. We picked up one of the seasoned sliced beef briskets. These are already fully cooked, keep refrigerated, gluten-free. This one is the mesquite flavor, but in this one, there is no um, added sugars or anything. I'm not sure how much this was. Is it on here somewhere? I don't see it. I think it was like $12 and something. We have tried this in the past and it is really delicious. So we wanted to go ahead and get one and try it again. This is the pulled pork, two pounds. Again, another really good keto item that Sam's has. There is nothing added in this that is going to knock you out of ketosis. You get two pounds in this. We have bought this probably the last three or four months that we've been going to Sam's and like it. What we'll do is we'll just put this on the Sola buns um, or the Smart Baking Company buns. We'll add some barbecue sauce. I'll make some slaw. This is really good. Picked up some of the real crumbled bacon. We like to add this to our chaffles or eggs in the morning. And these are what we use when we're just in a really big hurry and don't want to fry up bacon or if we run out. And this is the 20 ounce members mark package. And it is resealable. Just when you open it, make sure you store it in the refrigerator. This is new for us and something we've not picked up in the past. This is the oven roasted turkey breast, no nitrates or nitrites, no artificial flavors or colors. And it is 22 ounces, 98% fat free, made with whole turkey breast. Um, and the ingredients does have sugar. One serving gives you one total carb. This is basically going to be for the girls and Preston's lunches and things like that. So I'm not really worried about them getting one carb. This is another new item that we've not tried before, and this is the Zatarain's Smoked Sausages. You get two packages, and you can see how large these are. These are really big. This does have, each one of these sausages has two net carbs. So there are some creepy things in here, like maltodextrin and stuff like that, but 
I'm not really worried about it. Two carbs for one of these isn't bad and we'll just make sure we pair it with fats to hopefully not kick us out. This is something I pick up every time we go and it's because Kerrigan and Briley like to snack on these and they also like to take them with their chicken salad, egg salad, things like that. This is the oven baked Parmesan crisps by Members Mark and how big is this package? 9.5 ounces. They just finished off the one that we had for November. So these do last us an entire month. There are no carbs in this, no weird ingredients that you have to worry about. So this is definitely a good keto find. Got two boxes of the Quest Bars. These are not the favorite flavors in the family. They're not the ones that the kids always run to and are excited about having, but I like to keep them here. Chris likes to eat them and they're good to have on hand considering you get 14 bars for only $20. So I went ahead and picked up two packages of that. They give you seven of the chocolate chip and seven of the cookies and cream. I only got one thing of avocados and that's because all the avocados they had there were super ripe or I would have probably got two and just stuck them in the fridge. But these will do, these were under $5 for these huge avocados. They had in the Himalayan pink salt and they had it in the grinder and so I went ahead and got it. It was under $5. It was $4 and something. It is 14.3 ounces and it is in a glass container. So went ahead and got that because we like to grind our stuff fresh like our pepper or our salt. It's going to try this one. Haven't ever before. If you have, let me know in the comments below if it's good. Just finished up the almonds from last month or the month before, I can't remember. These last a while, Briley loves to snack on these too. This is the whole almonds, natural, nothing in them, three pound bag, pretty good deal for these. Couldn't get them cheaper anywhere else. I did not get the pecans because Chris picked up the pecans at Aldi um, this week, so I didn't think I would need any more of those. This is new, and I'm excited to try this. This is smoked Gouda pimento cheese dip. Seriously. The ingredient list is horribly long, but the bad ingredients are more towards the bottom of the ingredient list. So for two tablespoons of this, it is two net carbs. Total sugars is only one. I assume since this is a dip and something we'll probably be eating with like my homemade keto crackers, I won't have to worry about it being too high in carbs. Definitely want to try this. This will be something good to have during the holidays since it's not completely horrible for you. And then picked up two huge blocks of cheeses. This one is the Members Mark Sharp Cheddar Cheese, two pound. Um, I can't remember, was this in the freezer section or the refrigerator section? I think this one might have been in the freezer section. And the other one was the Cabot, and it is the Pepper Jack. Chris picked it up. We've not tried this one either before, and he likes the spicy cheese. No artificial growth hormones, naturally, <clears throat> naturally lactose-free, and you can see the scale right here. It's a little above medium, so that one's definitely going to be for him. Got Briley the huge bag of string cheeses. This is the 48 count. Honestly, this will probably last maybe two, two and a half weeks. She eats a lot of string cheese. It's like her go-to snack. So it's just cheaper to go ahead and pick it up there. Got one of the Philadelphia cream cheese six packs. And I like the Philadelphia cream cheese because it's the lowest carb out of all of them. If you look at this one, it says it has less than one net carb per serving. Uh, no really bad ingredients down here. If you look at some of the store brands or the generic brands or whatever, they have more carbs. So I try to stick with the Philadelphia when I can. Got two of the Members Mark Heavy Whipping Creams. I think they were like $4.20 maybe. Not the best ingredients as far as it has, I believe. Yeah, here it is. It has the carrageen that everybody tries to stay away from. Again, I am not able to find one in my area that doesn't have it. Not even at Walmart, not at Sam's. Picked up two of these. This will probably do us hopefully two weeks. 
And then the last item I picked up was not food, but it was the China paper plates. And this is the 100 platters. These are the really big sturdy ones. And I went ahead and picked this up just to have in the pantry since there's so many of them. So when we have Thanksgiving or Christmas, Easter, or anything like that here, we'll be able to use these big sturdy plates. It says eco-friendly on there. Um, and not have to worry about having so many dishes to wash in the dishwasher or just too small of a plate. So that's why I went ahead and picked those up. And I think that is everything except for the drinks. And I'll show you what we got out there. We only picked up two drinks this time. I picked up one of the Nestle Pure Life Waters. This is the 35 count. I went ahead and picked this up because this week is Briley's birthday. And I assumed we'd need something like this for the birthday party. We usually don't buy bottled water, but since we're going to probably have several kids here and a few parents, I went ahead and got it. And the other drink that we picked up was just one of the sparkling ice. They didn't have the holiday one this time, but this one is the four flavors. You get Chris's favorite, which is the grape raspberry. There's only four in there, unfortunately. You get a strawberry watermelon. Again, only four in that one. A cherry limeade, which is Briley's favorite, and that one you get eight. And the other one is black raspberry. That one's Chris and Preston both like it. Again, another one eight. So this one is the 24 count. Thank you all so much for watching my keto friendly Sam's haul this month. And I'm hoping all of these products will help us get through. It'll help my grocery bill stay smaller throughout the weeks, especially not having to buy like the chicken. We've got several meats, still a ton of meat in the freezer too. So if you have a item that you buy at Sam's that is keto friendly and it is your item that you always pick up every single time you go no matter what Let me know what it is in the comments below because I may need to get that for the month of January I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye Hello <laughs> Yo.